it is new vlog time if you've seen my last youtube video you'll know that it ended exactly in the same place i have not moved i've not moved since starting the new youtube video <laughs> sunday day one of the new vlog day one of the new vlog is that how we're gonna start intro i don't know i'm pretty much gonna track my hunger this week because we are 13 to 12 weeks out now so we're on that like little transition 13 to 12 coach has changed all my food oats has gone down by quite a bit on rest day by half he's now put me back on chicken because he, he says i'm gonna digest it a little bit better as well and well less fats as well i'm back on the monsters <laughs> i saw them yesterday in the shop and i thought you know what? i'm gonna have to get them because this time of the morning i'm gonna be starting to get a little bit hungry freezer drinks are going to be my friend for the foreseeable don't usually train on weekends but you know what we're just gonna have to doing legs today i even got up at 7 a.m when my alarm went off some of you are like why are you setting your alarm for your day off because guys i want to get in a routine of sleep like a good sleep routine so get up at the same sort of time every day between half six and half seven and then just get stuff done you know like even when i'm on late shift one till nine like i still want to be getting up training and stuff so we just need to get some kind of routine it doesn't matter the odd day you know i can sleep in and i can have an like extra hour or two in bed but i don't want to be sleeping in by like three four hours like extra do you know what i mean uh monday morning it's actually a really nice day outside today we just finished cardio some steps like half of my steps we did wake up late but we just struggled to get up a little bit because i'm working from home today so i'm gonna be sitting down quite a lot yeah not a massive issue but i actually weighed myself this morning and i was 62.3 so i'm like 0 0.6 0 0.5 down from um checking on saturday so that's good we're going in the right direction oh i've also decided to join another gym so it's like third gym no fourth gym now fourth gym anytime fitness which again there's so many around the world so Good luck to me trying to decide on my day off which one to go to but yeah we decided to go there because it's right near the tanning shop so it makes sense to go to go to anytime fitness train early doors because they they'd be open before six as well so i could even get my session done in the morning pretty much go for a go for a sunbed obviously go straight to work so it makes more sense so i'm going to be joining online today on a lunch break so i've got chicken and rice with the medium and then lemon and herb sauce to go on top so we get an hour and 15 minutes break so I'm actually thinking, do I go for a little walk and get some steps in? Or do I wait till later to go to gym that I'm going to join and do it there? But I'm thinking, well, I finish at half five because I'm so fucking tired already. Sitting in front of a computer is not doing anything for me. Oh, Love Island. Imagine your ex-partner coming in the villa. I don't actually know what I would do. I'd be like, hey, <laughs> crack on because I'm cracking on. Do you know what I mean? But in that situation, it's probably it probably would be so different. So you wouldn't actually be able, I wouldn't be able to know what I'm doing unless I was in that situation. Oh my god, my leg is twitching. So we've just gone up for a walk. I'm absolutely sweating. I'm in like, not only am I in a hoodie, but I'm in a black shirt underneath this as well. I'm so, honestly, I'm so hot, but I just thought we'd get some steps in. Hello. Hi, Dad. <laughs> We're finished for the day, hour early as well, which is always good. So I'm a bit like, <laughs> what do I do with my time? I think I'm going to just come back home, get into bed, have an early night because last night i didn't end up going to sleep early and then just have some me time i was gonna go to the spa tonight but you know what i thought now because then i won't be home till like eight nine o'clock and i really do want to just go into my bed and just chill Literally nothing has changed since I've been here. I was last here, what, like two years ago, three years ago, before COVID, not changed. I am so hungry, oh my God. Oats, <laughs> five to 11, I haven't eaten anything. I went to, oh my God, I went to the leisure center today. In my sliders, went on the Stairmaster. To be told by the woman who works there, to be fair, it's the second time that she's told me in like four months saying you can't train in sliders you can't do the stem master in, in sorry in socks and you can't wear sliders because i have my sliders next to the stem master i go can you give me that five minutes <laughs> knowing full well she was gonna say no basically i had to go get my trainers from the car i said to her i said my feet are too big in trainers for the stem master like my foot's hanging off it's probably more unsafe than it is wearing socks like fat foot on the stem master she was like well, don't use a stem master then like hun don't piss me off today. She pissed me off. We are training at the gym group in Wood Green today. Having a little cheeky session with someone. Not gonna lie, I am so tired. I have the flash on because it's dark in my room. 
I mean, my chicken and rice, two meals in one. And I've got my cornflakes, my almond milk. I've been here, there and everywhere today. I went to the gym group in Wood Green to train with someone. We did like, not even that many exercises for shoulders. So I didn't really feel like I had much of a pump going on. Even that I got told off for not wearing um, trainers. I was wearing sliders. They've just been a bit of a, one of those days where they're just complaining about me wearing sliders. It's my own fault, I shouldn't be wearing sliders in the gym. Had to walk to my car to get my to get my trainers, put the sliders on, sorry, put the trainers on, go back to the gym, gym group in the green. I had to finish my steps, I had like a K, 1K step to do, and I wanted to do my shoulders. So on the way home from the green, I stopped at David Lloyd and Acton. <laughs> And I don't know, that's literally third gym today. I actually did a shoulder session for like 45 minutes max and then finished one and a half K steps. Morning routine. Well, not routine, but half a clan. Because an hour and a half every day, not every other day. I'm dealing with it much better. I haven't pretty much got, got any side effects off half. Bell V R breakfast cereal bars. Really nice, actually. Really nice flavour. These have replaced my squares bars because these are less calories and like. And I don't tend to have more than one pack, so it's actually okay. So we checked in this morning, 62.7, so same weight as Saturday. I'm not actually fussed because my physique still looks really good. And it's probably because I trained so much yesterday. Like I did two almost shoulder sessions. I was on the go. Um, so yeah, Saturday will be lower anyway, so I'm not too fussed. Love Island, I haven't watched last night's when the new guys went in. Remy Lambert, oh my god, fit as hell. <sighs> Someone sent me his dancing TikTok videos though because she was like, oh, you need to see his dancing TikTok. It'll give you the ick. And she sent it to me and I was like, oh my God, like he hasn't even gone in the villa yet and already people are like jumping and taking the piss out of him. And it just made me realise like if you go on these shows, you have to absolutely have such a strong mindset and know that you will be taken the piss out of. You will be judged so heavily and you just have to be okay with that. So yeah, like bless him. But I haven't watched last night, so I'm probably going to watch it while I'm the Stairmaster because I really want to see that eye candy on my screen. So I cannot wait to see him. I think he's only like 22 though. What the hell? Why am I always attracted to younger guys? This is not okay. I will catch up with you later. I'll let Jace know or let you guys know what Jace says. I have got an in-person check-in with him at the end of the month, next Friday. Well, it's only a week actually, it's not too far. So that'll be in my next vlog. So yeah, that'll be exciting. But you can't even see me. I've just realized the sun's the opposite way, isn't it? Let me come over this way. So Jace has replied already. He's dropped my food again. A training day, instead of 60 grams oats, it's 45 grams oats. So it's basically a mouthful of oats now breakfast brilliant we've parked right at the back so we get our steps in already done at 7k steps that's quite good have my sun bed you know my hair is super knotty now as well i think it's because i wash and i shower with cold water so it doesn't actually like make it nice and smooth i feel like the cold water mats my hair a little bit which is a bit shit but yeah it's super hot i just kind of want to sit in the sun but we got work to do it's actually my first day officially able to make sales i think fingers crossed because i need this money first time i've spoken this morning <laughs> do a whole entry yesterday because i was just so busy but and to be honest i've had really nothing to say um i did legs yesterday morning before work at work because it was just i was up super early i was up at like half five so i thought might as well go oh my god why am i finding it so hard to like wake up today we meal prepped last night we meal prepped our chicken but what's annoying is that I got two big packs, must be like a kilo's worth of chi diced chicken, right? Put it all in the air, so two kilos worth of chicken in the air fryer. Probably the worst decision because it took like an hour to cook. But it does look really freaking nice. And it's only made me three days worth of meals. And at the start, I was like, how has it only made me three days worth of meals? Like two kilograms have gone down to about 700 grams. Which is probably about right, because obviously when you air fry, you take a lot of the juice out, don't you, I guess. It's a bit annoying because the cleaning up process is absolutely horrendous. So, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to do that again. I think I'm just going to stick to doing my chicken on the pan. It's just way easier. I don't know, why do Belvita bars always break like this? Like, it's so annoying. I'm officially out of squares bars now. I had my last two yesterday. So we're not doing any more squares bars. We're sticking to Belvita. Yeah, I woke up early. It was I woke up at like five o'clock before my alarm. I like waking up before my alarm. I don't like waking up on my alarm because it's not a natural waking up. It's waking you up. And that's the whole point of an alarm. But I prefer to wake up in my own, on my own like, accord. Oh my God, I got my first official sales on Wednesday. Totally forgot to tell you. Post sales course I did Monday, Tuesday. Did my first official sale. It was really good. It was like the top membership package as well. So I get money for that commission. And your girl's on her period. And I'm like six days early. So you know, last month I was like, 
five days late no i was actually pretty much on time like two days late this month i'm like six days early i don't understand my body but at least i've got it i guess funniest thing just happened so where i was training at anytime fitness where i used to work it's really nice because there's obviously a few people that recognize me from when i worked there and some guy literally came in and i was as i was going out and he was like wow your hench you you're massive like you've changed so much bearing in mind i haven't seen him for like three years he was like you've put on so much size i was like i hope so like i've been training hard i said i compete now so it's like you know it's it's part of what i do i said i'm actually on a cut now so i'm just trying to keep as much muscle mass as possible but yeah he was literally like oh my god so yeah it was pretty um pretty funny but yeah session was good we actually managed to film our workout so it is on instagram and then yeah apart from that that is me done for the day just doing a nice little workshop at home in the sun i'm gonna sit in the sun on zoom because it's gonna be absolutely boiling and i don't think they can expect us to sit indoors when it was set up there beautiful sun and this is what i'm gonna do it's half past three i'm actually one i'm very tired could be because i'm on my period as well and two i'm absolutely starving today it's actually the first day i haven't had squares bars as well and they are like 180 calories each so I was having two, two to four a day. So that's actually like a 500 calorie drop. I still have about 3k steps to do. So I'm going to drink this lovely orange and pineapple squash. I'm going to finish the rest of Love Island. I've got two meals left. I've got chicken, one more chicken meal. Yogurt and peanut butter, which is literally a snack. So here we go. Love Island roundup. Still watching this episode. Still watching it. Uh, 30 nights. The way Ekansu creeped to the terrace and then got Jay to creep to the terrace, that is literally something I would do. It's probably not the best thing to admit, but I see myself in that girl so much. Like, I absolutely, I love her. I absolutely rate her. And, like, the point is, they're not in a relationship. Nothing's official with anyone in there. Like, it's Love Island. You're going to be playing the field a little bit. That's just what it is. Opinion on Remy. I still really like him. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. This heat, man. I love the heat. Oh, no, I don't love the heat. I like the heat when, when I'm abroad. When I'm not abroad. Please give me winter any day. I can't actually deal. I'm going to get some squares bars because I can't. To be fair, squares bar won't hurt. We need to chat. Before I get into my check-in, I'm actually going to tell you about my vivid dreams that I had. I remember doing this actually last month. And I need to see if it's the correlation between me being on my period and having weird dreams because I never remember my dreams ever. And I have two. I had two last night. First dream, probably actually quite a normal thing to have. So I'm obviously on my period and it's super heavy. Guys, oh my God, I leaked through two tampons yesterday. I don't even care that it's TMI because most people that watch this are girls anyway. Like I actually had to put two pair of shorts in the wash because they were covered absolute nightmare so overnight i decided to wear a, a night pad i never usually do i usually just wear a tampon and change it in the night like it is what it is i hate wearing pads so much i feel like it's, i feel like i'm wearing a nappy with it i must have gone to sleep at like nine o'clock say woke up at one but my dream my dream before i woke up my dream was actually about the pad the sanitary pad and that it was like overflowing so when i woke up literally went to the loo it was overflowing it was literally the the long night okay not that long but you know the long night pads where they're like wide at the back as well it was absolutely covered okay number two dream weird as hell oh my god i dreamt that my next door neighbor had a flood coming out the roof right like literally water just gushing out the roof okay everywhere i messaged the neighbor i don't even have her number in my phone and i was like honey you okay it sent at 11 11 synchronicities right third thing my brother decides to go next door there was like this electric cable over it was hanging over something i don't know like an area or something outside and obviously he got water gushing out and he got this electric cable and it was actually a damaged electric cable so I, obviously i'm thinking well if he's like if water's coming out and then there's electric there what is gonna cause a fire and then i see him in the window and he's just like hanging out the window grabbing the electric cable just throwing it down onto the grass and i was like okay that's that then and then next thing i saw was all these like sparks and whatever and then i woke up so 
not entirely sure what that dream means. I think I need to have a word with, um, what's his name, Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung, some dream experts, and have a little one-to-one -one with him and say, look, what's going on? I did actually Google it. The whole flood thing is apparently like death and rebirth, but something that's going on in your life, like it's a natural crisis, isn't it? It was not a flood. It wasn't a flood flood. It was like a leak in the house. So probably need to revisit that Google page. I'm gonna have a little look on Google when I'm doing my steps and just ha try and make sense of it. And it's weird that I saw eleven eleven as well. Like I've been seeing eleven eleven for quite a while. On to check in, which is why we're here. Oh guys, honestly, I feel like I'm just so tired today. I am absolutely shattered. Definitely could have slept in for longer, but I'm glad I've got day off today because I'm I'm just gonna go gym, do my steps and cardio, shower, sunbed, come home at like ten o'clock and absolutely just chill. Yeah, check in. I was sixty two point six, so down by not even that much actually. Point one, I think, from Wednesday. But I'm on my cycle and oh my god, my whole body aches. Legs from Thursday uppers from yesterday my literally my whole body is hurting today i had a lot of sun yesterday and i was super tired as you guys know so words can't describe right now how tired i am i'm all done though i feel super like just craving sugary stuff so i'm gonna go home and have my oats as first meal so for some reason i see her i seem to have forgotten that on prep you get hungry don't know why i forgot about this but I'm telling you now, yesterday and today, honey, my hunger levels are actually through the roof. I don't know if it's because I am also on cycle, but honestly, the amount of sugary stuff that I'm craving is a nightmare. So let me start by telling you this first. Number one, your girl ordered on delivery a bluegrass burger with fried chicken, maple mayo, chips. No, actually chips off um side of mac and cheese right realized that i had ordered it for tomorrow at half nine in the morning i thought well that's not going to be happening is it so um i cancelled the order and then oh my god he's absolutely stunning oh my god he's actually gorgeous oh my god he's literally gorgeous fuck oh my god what beautiful human oh i love me a chocolate man so yeah i've decided to cancel that order and get my refund which i did oh i've locked myself in the car did I? No, I didn't. I decided, like, let's just come to Nando's because at least it's semi, like, similar to my plan. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's chicken. I'm just going to have a bit of garlic bread and coleslaw or mash. I, I, I watched this YouTube thing this morning. So a lot of us are tired all the time, right? And apparently because your eyelid, your eyelids, when, obviously when you, you're tired, they get heavy. You close your eyelids and then your chin drops. And that's why people like wake up and then they drop their chin and they wake up, right? That's what we do. I saw a thing and he was saying like, if you're tired, chin up, look up at the sky. So I'm going to try it right now on camera. 10 to 15 seconds. If anyone's looking at me right now, I do apologise. And apparently if you're like... Just makes me want to go to bed again. <laughs> Didn't bear. I might try it and keep trying it. I do have my monster. I wasn't going to have a monster today, but you know what? I'm really strong and I'm like, hunger. Now the hunger's kicked in. I'm literally like, oh my God, how do I manage? And I don't want to fall back into last year where I used to binge, binge, binge. Mmm. And this is me for the rest of the day. Can you fucking hear that? Can you fucking hear that? They're taking the piss. They're taking the piss, aren't they? They know I'm fucking hungry. Right, let's go, honey. Sunday, check-in update from Jace, because he replied last night. He gave me an off-plan meal. I said to him, I was like, I'm going to sleep, so I'll have my off-plan meal tomorrow. And this morning, I woke up to a voice note from him, and he basically said, because you're not overly food-focused, I was yesterday, though, um, let's just do it next week after in-person check-in. So to be honest, I'm fine. And he said, like, you know, I am pushing you this far out because then you can just not relax but well, he did use the word relax then he was like well like you know what i mean but it just yeah he'd rather get me ready sooner and then i could just kind of like oh i'm ready kind of thing you know so i get i get why he's doing that t3 has gone up to one and a half clen is still half but this morning i took a whole one by accident as soon as i swallowed it i was like oh fuck oh no well done oh shit 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 but it's okay so we actually are going to train legs this morning instead of tomorrow because i've woken up and i'm like do you know what i could really splash a good leg session today and sunday morning it's going to be nice and quiet so i'm switching my days around today and tomorrow so we're doing legs now literally gym opens in like five minutes i slept so well i did five rounds of wim hof breathing 
last night before bed. I have never felt such a natural high before. It was the most sensational feeling. And I put it on my Instagram story and I put the link to the Wim Hof YouTube on the on their story as well. I highly recommend guys, if you have not done Wim Hof, like please do Wim Hof. So I usually only do like two rounds, but last night I was just like going and going and going and I felt so good. I slept so, I always sleep well now anyway. I will continue this vlog. Don't even know why I say that anymore at the end of my vlogs because you know it's gonna be continued. 12 weeks out now yes 12 weeks out oh my god we're nearly in single figures what the hell is going on it's exciting though i absolutely love this life like i probably say that a lot but i really do i and that's the most important thing you have to enjoy prep if you don't enjoy prep i mean it's just what why are you doing it because it literally takes up your life i'll see you later guys see you in the next vlog